George Strait, George Jones, Joe Diffie. Some of you know these names because of their legendary songs, the memories that they hold and how they make us feel. In this week's Mi Gente, we introduce you to Patrick Anzaldúa of Sinton, who's well on his way to making sure others know his name and music too. Whenever I think of Sinton, I think of farming, I think of ranching, and I think of Patrick. My name is Patrick Gonsaldua. If people cannot say my name, my name is Patrick Wayne. That's my stage name. I lived in Sinton, Texas for 17 years. What people should know about me, I'm I'm all around I'm all around cool guy, you know, I'm a good old boy. You know, I try to I try to get along with people and I do have autism and uh, autism is like, you know, you can't multi you can't multitask and I mean I know there's a few types of autism. One is pretty one the other one is pretty severe. My autism doesn't have an impact on, on my on my singing or or playing the guitar, you know and he stopped loving her today. Meet Patrick Wayne. Chances are, if you've ever driven through the small railroad town of Sinton, Texas, you've seen or heard the man with the guitar. The 28-year-old is originally from Yoakum, but calls Sinton home. And the people here, his family. When I hear Patrick sing, and play his guitar. It just makes me feel good, it makes me feel happy uh, knowing that he's doing what he loves to, loves to do. God put certain angels on this earth and he's one of them. He can lift up anybody's spirit. He goes up to anybody and doesn't mind whether they're feeling happy or down. If you see him, you can't, he can't help but make you smile. Someone so used to making others feel whole with a simple tune, but there's a pain tucked away in those guitar strings. I really can't say much, except, you know, they were good parents. My mom tried to put food on the table, give us a roof over our heads, clothes on our backs. Like I said, it all, it all started with my parents. And uh, I was in high school, I was 16 years old, and I lost my mom when she was 52. She died from kidney failure. Then uh, a year later, at, my dad died when he was 56 after my 17th birthday, and it was pretty much of the dark time for me. And I felt like my whole world was just tumbling down, and uh, I felt like I just, I just wanted to end it, pretty much. When my parents passed, Patrick's uh, reaction to it was very severe. It, it was really negative for quite a while. I heard a, some, someone in my conscience just told me, son, don't do it. Honor your parents and find something that you can express yourself with. Give me a bottle of your very best. And the only way I can express myself with was country music. I just found a game that God and country music helped me got, get through the hard times, you know. I know there's a lot of depressed songs, but if you look, look, look for the right ones, like Life's a Dance, You Learn As You Go, that, I mean, that tells you something, you know. And like any musician, you have to find the right audience. Although sometimes, they may just find you. It wasn't intentionally... But it all started in the, in the, well, I was in my late teens, of course, got out of high school, I think. And uh, I had my guitar with me, it was raining, and uh, I wanted to go get something to eat. But then some feller just told me, uh, hey man, play something. I said, I don't know, man, I, I, have, I, have, I mean, I have no intention on, on playing at the butter churn. But he said, no, nah, it's all good. And that's how it all started. And I'm, and to this day, I'm still playing at the Butter Churn. That woman that I had wrapped around my finger just come unwound. The Butter Churn is a really great place because it's very, it's where everybody comes to meet up. It's like a family. My mom used to 
cook and dance with me in the kitchen. And working here at the Butter Churn, it's like family being here. And it's that warm, homey feeling. And whenever he starts playing this guitar, it just really brings back all those memories and it's a really great feeling. Guitar in hand, Patrick took a leap of faith to do what he loves and he hasn't looked back since. And he hopes others will do the same. Do what you want, do what you dream. Fulfill that dream for what, 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 whatever the dream might be, you know. This is where the cowboy rides away. Now, shooting this story was cool. such a treat. I went to high school with Patrick. He was two years above me, and he's always been just this sweet, nice guy. Now, you guys have heard him sing. He is looking to start a band. So for any other musicians that are out there, contact Patrick. I'll make sure to have his information on our website. There you go. Mm -hmm.